Today's Gospel speaks about an encounter between two women and two children that still in the womb. Two women in whom the suffer comes joy. On the one hand, Mary visits Elizabeth, her relative. God has upset these life plans. Who can ever believe that her pregnancy comes from the Holy Spirit? On the other hand, Elizabeth's suffering. In fact, God providentially took away the weight of the sterility from her. Two reasons for suffering that they are transformed into reasons for joy because of the intervention of God, who gives life precisely where it was humanly impossible, that is, in virginity and sterility. It is from that moment between Mary and Elizabeth that the suffering become joy. Can such a miracle also happen for us? Of course, the condition for this ha to happen is to open our hearts because the Lord comes knocking on our door. He asks us to open our heart to Him. He comes to give us life where it seemed that life couldn't arise. He comes in our sterility, visits our egoisms, makes our deserts sprout, erases boredom and rekindles joy, renews the desire for being together. In this special time, the Theatin Fathers are preparing for the next Council General, a reason to find Jesus, to the encounter with ourselves and an encounter with others. In fact, the general objective is to actualize the Theatin Charity in order to respond at the current challenges. Let us join in prayer. It will let Jesus enter in our hearts, in our projects, He will make us understand that everything makes sense. If we have the courage to share that joy with others, as Mary and Elizabeth did, we will discover that the fatigue can turn into joy. <laughs>